This week we are going to read this story and it's called Starry Eyed Stan. Who do you think is Starry Eyed Stan? Can you point to him? You're right if you point to the, to the big starfish in the middle. He's got his sunglasses on, he's got a microphone, and he looks like he's really cool. He looks a bit like a pop star, doesn't he? Well, today our story is going to be about Starry Eyed Stan. Just before we start our story, we are going to think about rhyming this week. I wonder, can you think of any words that rhyme? Did you think of some? Maybe you're not sure what rhyming means. Rhyming means that two words end in the same sound. Shop and lollipop are rhyming words because they end in the same sound. Shop, lollipop. Did you hear the way they ended? Tried and Slide are rhyming words. Even though they aren't spelt the same at the end, they still end in the same sound. Tried, slide. We're going to keep an eye out for any other rhyming words that we can hear in our story today. But for now, let's begin. Starry Eyed Stan. Have you ever heard a starfish sing? I'm not sure if they can. Apart from one young boastful chap, a star whose name was Stan. One day he got up on the stage with fans all gathered round and as he sang they cheered and swooned. Oh what a gorgeous sound. Can you spot any rhyming words on this page? Point to them if you can spot any. Have another lesson and see if you can spot the two rhyming words. One day he got up on that stage with fans all gathered round and as he sang they cheered and swooned. Oh what a gorgeous sound. Did you hear it? Round and sound are rhyming words. Well done if you spotted that. But the smell of all the creatures who'd assembled in one spot attracted quite a nasty crab whose name was Lancelot. Hmm, he said, what have we here? A feast of fish galore. I'll eat my fill and then come back to munch on even more. No. When the fish saw Lancelot, they all began to flee. But starfish find that tricky, so they tend to freeze, you see. Young Stan still hadn't noticed that his audience was gone. He was caught up in the moment, so he continued singing on. Then Lancelot approached him with a hungry looking grin but stopped and started shouting. Oh, good gracious, what's that din? The chin was just too lovely for a crouchy grab to, crab to bear. You did it, all the starfish cried. You saved us with your flair. Please teach us all to sing as well. We need a new defence. But Stan just laughed. You'll never learn. My talent's too immense. The next day, Stan was singing to an audience of eels when his show was interrupted by some not too distant squeals. Then, suddenly, there came a noise. A click and then a clack. And everybody knew that Grumpy Lancelot was back. 
Stan stood strong and faced him as he sang with all his might. But Lancelot looked different and seemed far less full of fright. What's different about Lancelot today? Can you spot what he's wearing? He's got some headphones on, doesn't he? To keep his ears away from the sound of Stan's voice. Uh oh. Just as Stan had lost all hope, he heard a little yelp. It was Jay, the tiny starfish, who just knew she had to help. Jay could hear her voice was wobbling as she struggled with the song. And she knew for it to work, she'd need more friends to sing along. Now I wonder can you spot any rhyming words on this page? I'm going to read it again and see if you can tell whoever's with you what the two rhyming words are. Are you ready? Jay could hear her voice was wobbling as she struggled with the song. And she knew for it to work, she'd need more friends to sing along. What two words rhymed? Well done if you spotted that song and along are rhyming words. They end with the same sound. But back to our story. So she hunted high and low, behind the rocks and in the cave. And she begged the other starfish to join in and to be brave. Then... One by one, each starfish stood until they formed a crowd. And the song began to grow as each one bellowed loud and proud. Vibrations moved the water and soon rocked the ocean bed. And the sound waves blew the ear defenders off the big crab's head. The crab just couldn't stand the noise and so he ran away. Then the singing turned to cheers of yes, we did it, oh hooray. Stan stood humbly on the stage to thank his tiny friend and all the other starfish who had helped him in the end. He promised to make up for all the selfishness he had shown as he knew that he could not defeat old Aunt Lancelot alone. He told them all to meet him in the morning by the stage and to bring along their friends of any species, size or age. For Stan had formed a plan to keep the nasty crab away. With some music and some teamwork and the best friends in the bay. And it says over on the other page, Stan's Singing School. The end. That was a great story, wasn't it? We're going to have another think about some rhyming in our big book activity this week. So see if you can spot some more rhyming words then. Bye.